Hello everyone and welcome back to another campaign episode. We are at Surya Varman, as you all know, and we are about to start with a dangerous mission. I think everything is already set to go, so without further ado. As the empire boomed, its neighbors became very. A growing tiger gorged itself on the prey that it deems most vulnerable. Some dreaded the looming war and prayed that their fears were unjustified. Others prepared for it. The kingdom of Tamberlinga, a vassal of the great Srivijaya and Thessalocracy, felt particularly threatened. The empire was surrounded by hostile neighbors and conflict was imminent. It seemed that the only thing left to question would be who would strike first. Suryavarman was wise enough to know that passivity would only lead to disaster. The various Burmese kingdoms to the west of the empire behaved with hostility, but a potential ally lay beyond. The Cholas, a powerful dynasty based in the south of the Indian subcontinent, had interests that aligned with those of the Khmer. Dispatching a diplomatically skilled envoy laden with gifts could be enough to convince Rajendra Chola that an alliance with Suryavarman would be to his liking. All right. The road west is perilous. You may have your pick of as many of my troops as you can afford to pay with the gold that I have given you. Envoy. Uh, the road is just you may pick your as many of your troops. Oh, okay. Uh, the envoy and the chariot laden with gifts must reach the Andaman port in the west. Recruit any two of the four companies of the soldiers camped nearby by selecting their leader. Elephant archer, knight, cataract, and light cavalry. Each company costs a hundred gold. Okay, cool. We have a choice. You may select any two of the four companies of soldiers to join your, you on your journey. Each comes with a unique set of strengths and weaknesses. Use the line of sight of your envoy to spot enemy troops before they know of your presence. Explore the map. There are many paths to victory and various secrets to discover. The most obvious route is not necessarily the most prudent. Demolition ships are deadly to groups of units crossing shallows. On standard difficulty, you are given a monk to accompany your forces. On moderate and hard, you will not you will have to make do without him. You have no monk. Sir Varman's diplomatic convoy begins its journey on the western fringe of the Khmer Empire. Beyond lies the forbidding combination of dense jungle, treacherous mountain ranges and meandering waterways. In the far west lies the convoy's destination, a small port on the Andaman Sea. From here a ship can be chartered to bring the convoy to the Chola lands in southern India. Knifing through the middle of the map is the fabled Chao Praya River. Although finding a means of safely crossing it can be difficult at this time of year, the ports operating along its eastern bank may be of assistance. Scattered around the map are countless of bands, countless bands of hostile troops, whether they are simple brigands or servants of enemy powers, they would be all too glad to get their hands on the treasure destined for the court of Rajendra Chola. All right, so select, uh, recruit any two of the four companies of soldiers camped nearby. So this is a mission where we're not going to be able to lose too many units, I feel like. So what do we want here? Rambike, Rambis, ah, this doesn't seem too strong. Ah, this one seems better than that one. Uh, I think we'll take this one for sure. Yeah, nine range scorps. Probably this one and that one. Man, this is a tough choice. Tough choice. I wonder how strong the hero... I want to click the heroes to see... I mean, the leaders to see their HP and stuff, but... Well, this gives two battle elephants. But that's not... Yeah, I, I want this. These elephants will crush all that stand in your way. And I want this. The Brissa Division is at your command, sire. Yes. I like this. We have a choice. I like when we have, when we have a choice like this. We have the men beneath. Onward. The bridge vest has been repaired for us. Sounds good. Now, first off, there we go. Um. Okay. So, I 
think I'm happy with my choice. Oh, is, is he a hero? I wonder if he takes damage if he will... Uh... I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to group this. Uh, goes there. Sure. Wait. Oh yeah. Grand Chariot. 100 HP. Now I think if he's a hero, then I think we might be able to use him for a lot of stuff. Naturally. Uh, I think we cannot afford to lose any units here. Well, we can't afford, but the end goal here will be to keep all units alive, because dangerous. Local inhabitants. Let's check what he is up to. Hello? Nothing? Oh. Our last ship is not fit to sail. These scouts will help you find another way to cross the river. Thank you, sir. That was nice of him. Oh! Oh no. So it begins. Okay, this Okay, I do have upgrades, so we'll bring the skirmishes in here. Do this. But I still really want to see if our the envoy is an actual hero. I mean, by looks of everything, it's, he looks like a hero, right? I'm gonna. I want to be a little bit careful. I've have, I have a tendency to. Yeah, does he heal? Yeah, he does heal up. I have a tendency to do make these. Oh, yeah. these types of missions where you can't uh, remake units. The tendency to make them harder than they were. And they, they had to be, rather. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, there were scorps there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, okay, okay. Initial trades. Successful. Yeah, initial trades. Very successful. I'm happy. Oh. Okay. Um, I mean, oh, the map is actually quite small. I'm gonna use my hero to the scout in front here. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can actually cut trees with our ballista elephants here. Gotta keep that in mind. It could be used in some places potentially. Not take on that alone, but if we bring these guys. We should be able to. Gotta play this smart. Very cost efficient. Oh, that works just the worst enemy. Oh, elephant archer. We can do the whole job here. Oh, this is working out. Till the melee units come in. The elephant archer doesn't barely takes damage. I don't want to let it fight this. I'm not being very careful here, very cautious. But I think I, I'd rather safe than sorry. That's what I'm trying to say. Come on. Okay. Now let's just move up here for now and keep scouting with our envoy. I assume their armies won't increase past what they already have. One of those caves again. No. So I think taking these efficient traits can be. Oh man. I don't like that. That's an army I don't really want to fight. But then again, I don't. I should commit to one side, I think, and not go back and forth. So I will go south, scout. Those armies seemed less dangerous down there. Don't didn't like all those elephants. That's gonna be tanky, very very tanky. So let's have a look down here. Hello, go down. Um, this isn't very scary. Yeah, not scary. This our envoy should be able to do this. They will just regenerate health. Oh, there's a oh. With these ships, we will seize control of the water and send any enemy vessels to the bottom of the river. I don't know if I feel safe. I don't know if I feel safe going. In. I mean, this is everything we have: two demo ships and one fire ship. What if we could make 
send our demo ships over here to blow up everything there. Oh, this feels so fragile. Okay, let's have a look what we find here. I really won't board anything until I feel 100% safe. Uh, like, we could potentially have landed here and cut... Wait, is that...? Yeah, there's cliffs. We could have landed here and cut through the trees, but there are cliffs everywhere, so... And we know there were at least a few poor guys in the river. Fast fire ship. Very good at dealing with that. See if we can block it with our fire ship and ship. As long as it's just like three, four, four guys, that should be fine. I don't see a place to land though, so it feels like we're supposed to go up upwards. Let's bring everything up. Just send all of this here. Bring the transport ships as well. I mean, I don't see anywhere to land yet, anyway. So, I think we're supposed to blow up these guys on the river up there. Right here we can land. It looks at things. Oops. Okay, I'll, I'll send my envoy across. The hero. To scout what lies ahead. Hmm, <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see if we can just get full control of water first. I think we can. Nothing here, nothing here. Ooh, all around me. Not good. We cannot go past there. But at least we seem to have full control over this part of the river. Uh, safe. Kill that cavalcher. Maybe this crossbow. Don't get out of there. Yeah. Maybe we should just transport across here then. Oh man, oh man. Get on board. Nope, oh, we don't want to spend you there. Should be a cost effective trade. See what they have up here. Yeah, this, I mean, demo ships could really do work there. Then again, we're already past the river, so I don't see the point of wasting units here. Get him. Come on, come on. I'll just. Won't be like this. That's fine. Yeah, let's get everything across. Let's get everything across here. Then again, where can I use my demo ships now? If not here. There was just like six, seven around by patrol. Oh. Ah, I lost the scorpion. Yeah, we still took a very good trade there. Yeah, I don't think we can use these demo ships anywhere else. So I'm just gonna go here and blow up things. Got another army there. Come on! For science, boys! Wait, they just ignored me. What? Why are they just ignoring me? Elephants are too tanky anyway. Took a lot of damage from them though, but... Yeah, I don't see where else we could have used them. A lot of crossbow, man. 5 plus 3? Oh, yeah. Fully upgraded. This was some of the skirmishes down there. If you guys don't mind me playing this so safe. Six pierce. Yeah, this should be good. We'll use the envoy to tank some fire. Draw fire. And the skirms will move in. One down. Okay, they're clever. Starting to target the skirms. Oh! Yeah, okay, I'm kind of think thinking maybe we should have attacked the Arambai first instead. Okay, we'll just. I mean, we'll still win that fight, probably. Just there's still a fair bit of way to go until we are. Oh, 
until we are ready to transport over. Yeah, this is gonna be a very good fight. All right, all right, going well, going well so far. Not sure if I should leave that. Actually, I'm gonna put him on, put him over there. Okay, this seems to be our path down here. This seems to be where we want to go because I don't want to fight those around by. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Rambit Warrior. I'm not sure if I should trust him or not. I do not know. He can be trusted. Screw that, let's get him over. Come on. Yeah, live a little. They suggested me to take the southern route. I know there's units down here. I scouted them earlier with my... With my ships. Only a couple of Karambas, though. Yeah, we can deal with this. Oh, wait. Yeah, just a... And crossbows. Oh. Actually getting dangerous at all. What if that guy is trying to lure us into a trap? Hard to tell. I will trust the Karambit though. But... We'll play it safe still. We'll use the Envoy for what it's worth. Oh, okay, this I like. This seems to be a... No, not a cave. Is there? Let's go back. I really don't want to lose those are blessed. Ah, okay, one of them will go down. That's fine. Yeah, they seem to uh, know what they're talking about after all. This path. I mean, we're just pretty much going into the west anyway. From here. I'm not sure what's that, what that's all about. On um, battle elephants. Stop microing like that. I mean, we're closing. I mean, we're halfway there. We haven't lost too many units, but a lot of our units are low HP. I'm just going to patrol them forward. They'll try to just tank fire with the hero. Don't want to lose him though, so I gotta be careful. And they always micro like this. It's super annoying. At least our units are tanky. From what I can tell, we, I think we went for the right unit, the right uh, armies to accompany us on this journey. Uh, oh no, there's a ram by. You know, the, if they are micro like this. Okay, since they're micro like that, that's fine. Oh wait, half our army was left behind. If they had proper micro like AI tends to do in this. Could have been so strong. But yeah, I mean, we're, we are very close now. Oh, okay, I'm really happy we went down here. The Karambit guy was a wise man. Was a very wise man indeed. If this leads all the way there... Oh wait, did we just get the whole army activated? Oh man. Oh! No, 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 no! Wait, this will be hard. Ah, I really wish we didn't get these guys triggered. Please don't tell me that this is gonna trigger even more of them. Get rid of that. Oh man, I don't like our situation right now. That was quite a big army down there. Ah, these guys keep falling. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, they're... Let's use the war elephant. 
for what it's worth. I kind of come in one by one though, which is good for us. Now they can I mean, oh wait, we're almost, we're pretty much there now. Yeah, hey, we should be fine now. We should be fine. I think that was pretty much the rest of the army. Almost lost our envoy though, our hero in quotes. Okay, yeah, we could make we chop through here. That's like what we're supposed to do. Although, I mean, all the armies there didn't have ballista elephants. I wonder if we can just chop through here now. Just chasing the mission. I'm not sure. Well, we can. Let me see where this leads, though. Because there's... Oh! Do not let them reach the port. Well, I mean, this seems to be like what we're supposed to do, I think. Yeah, we'll just sneak past there. We don't have to fight them. Yeah, this is why ballista elephants are nice to have in this scenario. So that means we have made it then. Curious to see what the rest of the map looked like. Thank you. Okay, where? Supposed to reach. Oh, the envoy also had. Oh my god. I don't know if it counts as the hero or just the whole envoy here, because I like, guess the, the whole squad. If the, or if the hero actually needs to survive. I guess he had to survive as well, and he was so close to dying. Oh my god. If he had to survive, I mean, he was down to like 10 HP at one point. Yeah, I'm really... Oh my god, we would never have broken here. We would never break this. Yeah, that would have been impossible. Yeah, I mean, they did say there's many paths to victory. But honestly, this does not seem like a path to victory. Oh, here you will get... Oh, this would have been nice, but still. Oh, actually, this would have been really bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we didn't go up there. I guess you could potentially break this, but... Yeah, the path down here seems to be the the safest one, for sure. But I like this when we're given the options to like decide which army we want at start. That's really cool. Yeah, this army would have been a bit weak. I mean, you'd have the Arambai, but they can't regenerate, and the Scrambits just die instantly. Yeah, this as well, too much infantry. Yeah, I think we went, went for the right army for sure. Alright, let's uh, do this and listen to what he says. Despite the hardships of the journey through hostile territory, the diplomatic convoy arrived in Chola lands largely intact. Regenda Chola was pleased with the gifts that the envoy lavished upon him. Especially impressive was a grand chariot a work fashioned by the finest craftsmen in Angkor. Generous offerings and well-chosen birds go a long way with a magnanimous ruler. A bargain was struck, and the envoy returned to Angkor, harbinger of pleasant news. Good stuff, good stuff. Pause the video at any point if you actually want to see uh, any of the stats. I'll just quickly go through them here. I mean, there's not much to see here, really. Wait, right, three villager high? Transport ships, I guess. And the trade cart. I guess so. Anyways, guys, that was a dangerous mission. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And um, I will see you soon for challenging a philosophy.